welcome to the best fish masters ever. Today we're going to use our fly and dance and electronic helicopter lures that will be sure to reel in some fish. So all we got to do is hook up the lures to our poles when we get down to the lake. We forgot the poles. Sorry, I know the show's getting off to a slow start. I forgot the poles back in use the house. These. No, we need the poles and the lures and everything else. Why don't you go get those so that I don't have to talk to Lulu? And oh. I'll just wait here for you. But when he gets back, then it'll be the best fishing ever. This show for sure. I know there's been a few shows where we haven't caught a lot of fish, but this one we will for sure. Not like the other couple hundred episodes. As soon as he gets back. I know it's a slow start, but it'll pick up. You'll see. <laughs> what? Did you get the poles? Lulu's dead! Did you get the poles? We need to fish. No, Lulu's dead! Lulu's dead? Yeah! <laughs> that's, that's enough of that. You know what this means? You know what this means? I can't go on morning forever. I can go get me a new wife. A pretty, beautiful wife that can cook and clean and do everything. You stay here, I'm gonna go get a new wife, and I'll meet you here in a little while. Hey, get the poles! Excuse me, will you marry me? Excuse me, will you marry me? Excuse me. 
Hold on. Excuse me, would you marry me? Sorry, I'm already married. Okay, thanks anyway. Hi, Hi. can I help you? Yeah, would you marry me? No. 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 Um, Excuse me, would you marry me? Oh, I don't think my husband would like that. Oh, thanks anyway. <laughs> Weirdo. Marry me? No, I'm already married to this lovely oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Would you marry me? I don't think my husband would marry you. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep trying, you know. What should I say to get a girl to go out with me? Yeah, I guess you need a new woman. Word travels fast. I heard Lulu's pushing up daisies. And don't ask me to the funeral either. I'd hate to be a pallbearer. You're going to need about a hundred men with strong backs. You're going to have to bury her in a piano case. <laughs> you could bury her at sea, but it might cause a tidal wave when you drop her in the water. <laughs> Oh yeah, you need a pickup line. Here's one. I got a good one. Ask the girl if she likes apples. Say, do you like apples? If she says yes, say, how about I How do you like them apples? And that line usually works with women? I'm sure it would. I never actually tried it. If I see a girl I like, I just hit her over the head with something and drag her off by her hair. Of course, you can't do that if she's the marrying kind, because they kind of hold that against you. You just stick to my apples pickup line. Just tell them you like apples, and when they say yes, you tell them, how about I be... How do you like them apples? It'll work. Okay, I'll try it. Excuse me. Do you like apples? Yeah. How about I bend you? How do you like them apples? Thanks. Excuse me. Do you like apples? Yeah, I guess. How about you? How do you like them apples? Excuse me. Do you like apples? How about I? How do you like them apples? Dick, you ain't seen my buddy, have you? He's getting the poles. Then we're gonna, uh... So, do you cook? Well, I have a cook that does that for me. Do you do laundry? My maid does. Your maid? Mm-hmm. Does she clean the house, too? Oh, yeah. I have a couple of cleaning ladies that do that. It's a pretty big house. Well, you might call it a mansion. <laughs> yeah. When can we get married? 
Well, as soon as you want. Tomorrow? Today? In a few minutes? Sure. <laughs> be married. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Where are we going to get married? Well, I own a church in Anaheim or a casino in Vegas. We could jet out there tonight. Could jet out to Vegas and get married. That sounds like yeah. a good idea. Hold up. If we're going to get married tonight, we should probably get to know each other this afternoon, so maybe we should go on a date. Well, all right. Where would you like to go? I know a bunch of fun places. TV. Known by several aliases, authorities have nicknamed this notorious killer the Black Widow. Seven of her nine husbands suffered mysterious deaths, and two are still unaccounted for. Unaccounted for just like the victim's bank accounts and life insurance settlements. Always on the lookout for a new husband or victim, the Black Widow is always on the prowl for a new kill. Authorities in 16 states have detailed this. That is so exaggerated. I don't know. 
know. Well, you just make yourself comfortable and I'm gonna go get us some Fishmaster Brew. Fishmaster Brew? Fishmaster Brew. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna go slip into something a little more comfortable. Okay? Okay. Here's your Fishmaster brew. So, um, are you comfortable? Yeah. Well then, um, how about a kiss? Okay. Would you mind going and brushing your teeth first? I have an extra toothbrush in the medicine cabinet. Okay. Fresh bread. Teeth are brushed. Great. Hey, how about that kiss? Sure. Actually, would you mind taking a shower? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. You gonna buy something? No. Um, why don't we go into the bedroom? <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> ready? I already finished. What? Ever been 
convicted of a crime? Never convicted. You like to do laundry? Love to, only if I can iron it. I need you to be the best man at my wedding. Uh, you're the best man. No, no, I, no, I want, I need you to be the best man at my wedding. Here. Uh, Look, I'm, I'm, you're I'm, the best man. We need to fit. No, Lulu's dead. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, could you marry me? No. Will you marry me? No. Excuse me, will you marry me? history of mental illness? Not in my immediate family. Can you handle a shotgun? Like a pro. Do you fish? All the time. Do you ever catch anything? Every time. So do I, every time. Do you have any vices? Only in the bedroom. I believe the man's home is his castle. He should be able to sit back in a big easy chair, cigar in his mouth, a beer in one hand, milk control in the other. He should be able to stroll the house in his boxers. In fact, I think women were meant to serve men. Don't you think? Of course. Well, a woman shouldn't complain if a man comes home at four in the morning smelling like alcohol and cigarettes and cheap perfume. You're right. I totally agree. It's just what men do. I agree. And a man shouldn't have to clean up after himself. No, it's a woman's duty to pick up after a man. It's woman's work. I agree. And if a man doesn't want to take a bath for a few days, that's nobody's business but his own. A woman shouldn't nag. He should never nag. And if a guy's tired of work and, and wants to quit his job and let the wife work two jobs to support him, that's fine. And he'd still be the head of household. Exactly. He'd still be the boss. How the true. man who wears the pants. I... The woman doesn't wear the pants. She wears the dress. Hold it. Well, that's a pungent pheromone. That's a manly <laughs> sin. Manly, yes, but I like it too. And a woman shouldn't whine if a man gambles away his paycheck. Maybe next time the devil is money. And the little woman could always get a loan from somebody if the man blows his paycheck at the racetrack. You have to wager a little to make it fun. It makes it more fun. And you don't even have to leave the house. You can gamble at home. You can bet on sports. <laughs> or invite the guys over for an item of my safe poker. Yeah. 
My daddy lost one of my little sisters in a card game. Why, well, that wagering your sister made the game more exciting. Yeah, and she was past prime marrying age anyway. Plus, she was one of those bad seeds who tried to think for herself. If God wanted women to think for themselves, he would have invented men. Amen, sister. And a man shouldn't have to get rid of his Playboy collection just because he got himself an old lady. Plus, a subscription would make a great gift. Plus, a man only reads Playboy anyway for the articles. And the pictures give great guidelines for what women should strive for. Exactly. And hustlers the same way. I agree. Plus, a woman shouldn't complain if a man wants to hang a few centerfolds around the bedroom. He's got to have something to look at while he's in bed with his wife. Yeah, just cover the whole walls. You know what? Save money on wallpaper. Exactly. And why is it women always want to have babies? Never trust anyone who wants kids or dogs. Dogs are okay. I think I'm more of a dog man myself. I like cats. They give dogs something to chase. Yeah, there you go. Dogs are great. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that picture of the dogs playing cards? Yeah, That's yeah. great. It's great. It's all these dogs sitting around the table. And they're playing cards. <laughs> it's, you know, I haven't played cards with the fellas in a while. Maybe you could organize a poker night and I could serve beer and hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. Do you like poker? Well, no, poker's a man's game, but I like the smell of beer and heavy cigar smoke. Me too. That's the only reason I play. I don't even know the rules. And I can make a party platter like Martha Stewart. Did you park your car somewhere up here? Heck no, I don't drive a car. Women shouldn't drive. Oh, yeah. Then why are we up here? I don't know. Answer me this. My last wife got mad every time I forgot her birthday or anniversary. Why is that? Well, it's a woman's job to remember special dates, so I... Exactly. And why do women always want flowers and candy? You can never buy my love with flowers. It's just an admission of guilt. Right. You only buy flowers when you're guilty of something. Isn't this great? You know what? I'm gonna go back and get some popcorn with extra butter and extra coconut oil. It's all gonna go to your tummy. I know, but that's okay. I'm a guy. Isn't that funny? It's, it's okay for a guy to put on a whole bunch of weight and get real big and fat with a big old beer belly. It looks good on men, but for a woman to put on one pound, she looks like crap. I agree. It's a woman's job to stay in shape for her man. Of course. And it's a man's job to get big and fat and roly-poly like a big teddy bear for his woman. Women just love big roly-polies. <laughs> I don't want
do? Say, Mom, I can't talk. I'm in the middle of a hot oil treatment. And then I left my coffee on the other table and the bow cord went in breach. So my coffee's getting cold and I'm in a rush and my hair is totally over conditioned. Hey, aren't you listening to me? Huh? Oh, no, I learned how to tune it out. Oh, that's wonderful. It's pretty good beer coffee, huh? Yeah, but it's not as good as Fishmaster Brew. Fishmaster Brew. You gotta love a woman that likes Fishmaster Brew. Hey, uh. Would you marry me? Aren't you going to get down to with me? I don't want to put too much effort into it. Well, sure, but do I get a ring? A ring? I'll be right back. How are you doing? Uh, could you show me a wedding or an engagement ring? Sure, what price range are you looking for? I've got a $1.99. Taller ninety nine. What are you out of your mind? Where am I going to get a ring? Hey, Cracker Jack, there's still some in there. me a new wife. I'm getting married in the morning and I need you to be the best man. Ah! Yeah, I need you to get to, to I need a best man tomorrow because I'm getting married in the morning. Uh -uh. I need you to be the best man. Uh -uh. You're going to be my best man tomorrow at the wedding. Uh -uh. I get married in the morning. Uh, the, the justice of the peace said you only need a witness. You don't need no best man. Technically speaking. Well, we still you can come to my wedding in the morning uh -uh. with me. Okay, well I probably won't be doing this show for a while because I'm getting married and I'll be on my honeymoon and stuff like that. Right now I'm kind of in a rush because I got to go get me a new shirt to get married in. So thanks for nothing, I guess. And I'll see you. And next time you see me, I'll be married and happy. You're already married. No, but she's dead, remember? <laughs> hey, where's the fishing pole? But 
Tonight I'm gonna drink and flirt and dance and sing and fight. Tonight I'm gonna pinch and hug and kiss and do it right. Tomorrow I'm a goner, so I'll party till the dawn or else my wild oats won't be sown. My chances will be blown. So tonight I'm gonna party hardy. It's okay, I won't be tardy. When the wedding bells are ringing deep inside, I'll still be singing about the times I had tonight. My marriage won't be such a fright. My evil past will see me through. My future won't be quite so blue. Tomorrow the ball and chain will send my life to pot. Tomorrow when I tie that fatal knot. That fatal knot. But tonight I have no worries, no rain and no snow flurries. It's a clear and happy night, the last night of my life. Tonight I'm gonna drink and smoke and cuss and have a time. Tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Tomorrow's getting nearer, so I'll have another beer and celebrate my bachelorhood before I lose it all for good. Tonight he's gonna smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and part and cuss. Tonight he'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. His life will be poo poo. Tonight he's gonna smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and part and cuss. Tonight he'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. His life will be poo poo. Tonight I'm gonna drink and burp and dance and sing and bite. Tonight I'm gonna rage and hug and kiss and do it right. Tomorrow Tomorrow I'm a goner, so I'll party till the dawn or else my wild oats won't be sold. My chances will be blown. Tonight I'm going down in glory, it's okay, I won't be sorry. When the wedding bells are ringing deep inside, I'll still be singing about the times I had tonight. My marriage won't be such a fright, my evil past will see me through. My future won't be quite so blue. Tomorrow the ball and chain will send my life to pot. Tomorrow when I tie that fatal knot. That fatal knot. But tonight is not tomorrow, I'll postpone my pain and sorrow. It's a bright and sunny night, the best night of my life. Tonight he's gonna smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and fart and cuss. Tonight I'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. His life will be poo poo. Tonight he's gonna smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and fart and cuss. Tonight he'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. Then his life will be. I'll be hitched tied down and married. I might as well be buried, cause my life will be all through. When I say the words I do. I'm 
in a rut, but I earned everything that I own. From my astro turf to my video spurf to my cordless telephone. You ask me, was it worth it all? I say yes with all my might. Cause I live on a lakeside trailer park and everything's gonna be all right. Podcast. We forgot the cold. Sorry, I know the show's getting off to a slow start. I forgot the poles back in the house. Use these! No, we need the poles and the nurse and everything else. Why don't you go get those so that I don't have to talk to Lulu? And oh. I'll just wait here for you. Lulu? Lulu? <laughs> what? Did you get the poles? Lulu's dead! Did you get the poles? We need to fix. No, Lulu's dead! Lulu's dead? Yeah! Lulu's <laughs> that, That's enough of that. You know what this means? You know what this means? I can't go on morning forever. I can go get me a new wife. A pretty, beautiful wife that can cook and clean and do everything. You stay here. I'm gonna go get a new wife, and I'll meet you here in a little while. Hey, get the poles. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Would you marry me? No. 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 Would you marry me? Okay. Thanks anyway. Excuse me, would you marry me? No. You need a pickup line, buddy. Yeah. Hello, I'd like to make a collect call. Brother Bill, the fish master. Hey, Bill. You know all about pickup lines and picking up women. What should I say to get a girl to go out with me? Ask the girl if she likes apples. Say, do you like apples? If she says yes, say, how about I'll How do you like them apples? OK, I'll try it. Excuse me, do you like apples? Yeah. How about I bend you? How do you like them apples? Thanks. Excuse me. Do you like apples? Yeah, I guess. How about you? How do you like them apples? Dick, you ain't seen my buddy, have you? He's getting the poles. Then we're gonna, uh. Hold up. If we're gonna get married tonight, we should probably get to know each other this afternoon, so maybe we should go on a date. Well, all right, where would you like to go? I know a bunch of fun places. TV. No, 
known by several aliases. Authorities have nicknamed this notorious killer the Black Widow. Seven of her nine husbands suffered mysterious deaths, and two are still unaccounted for. Unaccounted for just like the victim's bank accounts and life insurance settlements. Always on the lookout for a new husband or victim, the Black Widow is always on the prowl for a new kill. Authorities in 16 states have detailed this. That is so exaggerated. for many fresh breath. you to be the best man. I need you to be the best man at my wedding. Uh, you're the best man. No, no, I, no, I want, I need you to be the best man at my wedding. Here. Oh. Ah. Look, I'm, I'm. You're I'm, the best man. No, I'm getting married and I need a best man to be there. I'm getting the ceremony. I need a, a best man next to me saying. Uh -uh. Remember that justice of the peace? He said, you only need a witness. You don't need a best man, technically. Okay, well, at least come to the wedding. Uh -oh. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be doing the fishing show for a while, because I'm gonna be getting married. I'm gonna be on my honeymoon and stuff. So right now, I'm gonna go buy me a new shirt to get married in, and a nice hat or something, and I'll, we'll do the show later sometime. Where'd the old sticks go? The 90s on the smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and fart and cuss. Tonight I'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. His life will be poo poo. Tonight he's gonna smoke and drink and fight and raise a fuss. Tonight he's gonna live and love and burp and fart and cuss. Tonight he'll have some great fun and tomorrow he'll be all done when he says the words I do. Then his life will be poo-poo. I'll be hitched tied down and married. I might as well be buried, cause my life will be all through. When I say the words I do. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion right after this. Come here, man. 
Do you take him? I do. And do you take her? I do. It's only a dream. Must have overslept. I'm late for my wedding. In a rush to tie a fatal knot. How'd you know I was getting married? Word gets out, but that's not important. I just don't want you rushing into anything. Who are you? That's not important. I just want you to reconsider this wedding. I'm just looking out for your best interest. Look, I'm already late, and I gotta get going. I'll do whatever it takes to prevent this fiasco union. Look, lady, I'm in a really big hurry. And how about one last fling before that ball and chain weigh you down like lead? As much as I'd love to, it just wouldn't be right. I'm on my way to my own wedding. I'm already late. I gotta go. And I understand if you're not man enough. Not man enough? I'm gonna show you the best two minutes of your life. Should we start the ceremony without him? Let's wait a little bit longer. He's only an hour late. I'm sure he'll be here. <sighs> now you can't possibly go through with the wedding. I told you I'd do anything to keep you from marrying my daughter. Daughter? I will not have my daughter married to a fishmaster. She didn't even tell her father and I about the wedding. I had to find out about it on the street. And can you imagine my humiliation at my daughter married to a fishmaster and not even the clever, handsome one? Her father doesn't even know. It'd kill him after he killed you. But he doesn't have to know. Just drop this marriage idea and everybody will be happy. Otherwise, I'll tell her about us and him about you. Who or what, darling? Uh, say, uh, we don't have any spare change. Why don't you just move along, huh? I'd be glad to. Stop right there. And you might as well know, darling, this fishmaster is marrying our daughter. Fishmaster? I didn't recognize you without your partner. Well. So you're marrying my daughter. <laughs> marrying my daughter? Over my dead body, I'll kill you first! <laughs> no. And stop, darling. There's something else you should know. <laughs>
Thanks, little chunks. Sorry I'm late. You can get started. Dearly beloved. No, skip all that stuff and just get to the vows. Do you take this woman to be your awfully wedded wife? I do. I do. Do you take this man to be... Wait a second. I wrote my own vows. <sighs> do you take him controlling every aspect of his life, using him as a virtual personal slave with the understanding that you will change immediately following the ceremony and everything said during the courtship is null and void. I do. <laughs> If either of you know of any reason why ye should not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, ye now confess it, for be well as sure that... If there's anybody who has any reason why these two should not be married, speak up or forever hold your peace. It's Lulu! Lulu! Oh, You're not dead after all. Just relax, honey. I'm sure we're too late. Just you relax. stay out of this. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, my daughter. Oh, my wife. Oh, someday. I'm gonna kill that fish master. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I'm gonna kill him! Hey! How come you're in such a good mood? So I'm just about to marry the girl of my dreams. And what a surprise, in comes Lulu and does her in. L Lulu's dead! That's what you said. You told me Lulu's dead, but she's not. That thing is there at the house, thriving and breathing like always. She's alive and kicking. Hey, maybe she just had the wind knocked out of her. See you next week. Go, go, Can't